Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Hope all is well. Coming to you live from the Holy Land of Israel. I'm located in northern Israel right now, the place where everyone's eyes are upon, but most importantly, the place where God's eyes are upon. We know that the Holy Land of Israel is watched by God Almighty from the beginning of the year to the very end of the year, and it is the safest place on earth to be in, the Holy Land of Israel. And the more good we do, the safer we make it. So we'll give you a little update on what's going on. I'm trying to tie it into prophecy, tie it into spiritual, you know, the spiritual dynamic of what's going on and what to take from it, because we know the physical is a reflection of the spiritual. So, what we see right now is that there is a war going on in Gaza, of course, between Israel and Hamas. Israel is wiping Hamas off the face of the earth, as prophesied in the book of Genesis, that God says, Behold, Hamas has filled the earth. Behold, here I will eradicate them from before you. So we see God is eradicating Hamas from the earth. God willing as quick as possible. See there's another front that's heating up and that is the Hezbollah front in Lebanon. Which is not so far from where I am, about 30 kilometers from where I am. But thank God we're feeling good, we're feeling peace. It's feeling quite peaceful where I am. But we should know that our prayers are needed to, to put fear into the enemy and to make them flee from seven directions from before us. So the other front is the Hezbollah front, where, interestingly, there hasn't been an all-out war yet. Hopefully there won't be, but there's been, as they say, limited, uh, there's been a limited, uh, you know, conflict between the two sides. Tit for tat, you can call it where one side shoots at the other side rockets usually they shoot rockets at us and then we respond by hitting them hard but you know in a in a limited way meaning we hit them hard back and then we you know then we measure it it's a measured response it's interesting to note is Israel is actually hitting Hezbollah quite hard they're taking quite a beating where they'll launch three four rockets and then Israel will hit them very hard and that's it and then the same thing will happen and again and again so this situation is in a way advantageous for Israel because they can hit Hezbollah hard without there being a full-out war and they are inflicting heavy casualties on the other side and damage to their equipment without you know without there being a full-out war but at the same time it does distract and keeps the IDF the Israeli army without being you know, focus on the northern front without being able to fully focus on the Gaza front to finish the job there with the most efficiency possible. So that's their tactic to try to distract the Israeli army from fully, you know, being dedicated to the Gaza Strip. It does seem like Hezbollah is in fear to have an all out conflict because they know the wrath of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob will, 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 will pummel them <laughs> infinitely, will, will, <laughs> will break them. If they, if they, they know if they wake the sleeping, they wake the Israel. I don't want to say sleeping giant, but they wake the giant Israel. Israel will demolish them. They, they do have a lot more power than Hamas. I'll give them that. But Israel will use a lot more power against them, and it will be, it will be, Israel will act in a state of survival where they will inflict damage upon not just Hezbollah, but they said if Hezbollah attacks, they'll also go after Syria and Iran, who are behind it too. So Israel's saying, we're not playing this game anymore of proxies, that you attack us with a proxy, we just fight the proxy. No, if you attack us with a proxy, we're going after the head of the proxy too. So that's a different strategy that Israel's using that does seem to inflict fear upon both Hezbollah and Hezbollah's masters, Iran. But we should know that we're in the prof process of prophecy unfold, that we are in the final generation. And this is prophesied that first of all, Hamas will, will be eradicated from the earth. And beyond that, that there's a prophecy that I mentioned that I want to go a little bit more into by Bilam, who was trying to curse the Jewish people, but God overpowered him and caused him to bless the Jewish people, where he says that a sign of the end of days, of the, of the final moments of exile, the times of Mashiach, will be that Rome will send armed ships to protect Israel, to protect the Jewish people from Italy. They will set sail from Italy to the coast of Israel. And that's what we've seen. America is Rome. America is the modern day Rome. And they sent armed ships from Italy to the coast of Israel to, to, to threaten the enemies of Israel. So that's what we're seeing. As well as there's really a, a behind the scenes clash between, Israel, uh, between America and Iran, as well as other allies of Iran behind the scenes and allies of America as well allied with them. So we're seeing a, a, um, a big, that this is, I call it 
the Holy Land of Israel, the pressure point of the world. Because everyone's eyes are on the prize, that the whole world is looking at the Holy Land of Israel. We must know that this isn't by accident, but the holiest place on earth is on everyone's minds and is on everyone's eyes, because this is where it's all going down. This is where the revelation of God is going to take place. So what we can take from all this is that our spiritual service is what wins this war. By serving God to the greatest degree in our spiritual lives, by doing extra good deeds, we actually give success to, to Israel on the battlefield. Because not all, all of us are soldiers. But by being spiritual soldiers, by doing good, by pushing ourselves to do more today than yesterday in the spiritual realms, that's how we actually give strength to the soldiers. So that is the message. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and help support us below.